You're watching Unrelent Gaming. This is Vegeta, the Prince of all Saiyans. Make sure you subscribe to Unrelent Gaming and push the like button for me. Or else you'll be Hakai! Not Beerus! You know how this works. Make sure you enable all notifications on the channel and watch the entire video all the way through. And don't forget to follow Unrelent Gaming on both Instagram and Twitter. That's enough! On with the video! Now, ever since the concept of Ultra Ego was introduced against Granola within the Dragon Ball Super manga, the fandom has been divided on the overall concept of which path to power would seemingly be the best choice to take in either choosing to follow the path of Ultra Instinct or choosing to follow the path of Ultra Ego. The million dollar question going forward is would the idea of following a destroyer's path prove Ultra Ego to be more dominant than Ultra Instinct or would mastered Ultra Instinct Goku completely overwhelm the power that is of Ultra Ego Vegeta? Now, before we dive any further into this video if you are new to the channel and of course have a love and passion for all things Dragon Ball related including its manga anime video games fan animations fan mangas and more in which would also like to be kept up to date with everything in regards to the Dragon Ball Super manga the Dragon Ball Super anime Dragon Ball video games and any and all additional content within the Dragon Ball universe then I do encourage you guys to head on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon to always be notified whenever a brand new video is posted onto the channel as well as giving this video a big thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if you guys are simply excited to see what the future holds for the Dragon Ball franchise and with all that being said I want to thank you all so much for your time thank you all so much for supporting the channel and now let's dive straight into the video <laughs> As our story opens up with both Ultra Ego Vegeta and Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku having to have a stare down in the middle of nowhere as Vegeta went on to address Goku by telling him, I find it rather interesting that you actually agreed to this duel, Kakarot. You do understand that despite us both reaching similar levels of power throughout the years, this isn't going to be anything like me and you have gone on to use against each other before, don't you? In order for me to know that I am better than you, I have to beat you. I have to see if this power that comes from from a destroyer is enough to see this victory through for me. With power like this at our fingertips, we could achieve anything, but only one of us here today is truly ahead of the other, and I need to know which one of us it is. Whether it's me, or whether it's you, Kakarot, you know I won't be holding back against you, right? I know how good you are, I am many things, but a fool isn't one of them. So I don't expect you to be holding back against me either, as Goku went on to respond, We've both been through a lot in order to be where we are, so I don't expect this to be as easy as it sounds. I agreed to this duel because I also wanted to see where my skills are compared to yours. This form of yours is very different compared to mine. So I agree, we couldn't have gone down any other roads that were different, however, in this current state as we currently are right now, I am stronger than you Vegeta, but I am willing to find out for sure once we battle. But just do me a favor, no matter how intense this battle becomes, try to keep your head screwed on straight and not put the earth in danger here. I already know you won't be holding back against me, but I think you already know that I won't be either. So what do you say? You ready, Vegeta? As Vegeta went on to respond, I'm going to smash you, Kakarot. We'll see about that, Vegeta, says Goku. As it was only then where Ultra Eagle Vegeta was then shown having to make the first move in springing into action by telling Goku, now don't blink, Kakarot, or you just might miss it. Something's different with him, says Goku. 
I know he's up to something. And with Vegeta then shown intensely and aggressively winding his fist back, he then went on to tell Goku, here's a friendly reminder of how this all originally started. Now you stand right there with your glowing silver white hair. Don't blink. And indeed, Vegeta kept his word because he then went on to punch Goku so hard in the face that seemingly enough, there was a moment of confusion. There was a moment of tension because Vegeta had actually landed a solid punch on Goku's face with Goku then shown stumbling back. Vegeta then went on to tell him, now there we go. Wasn't expecting that to happen. Now were you? As Goku went on to utter, ah, Vegeta, but how did you? What's wrong? Vegeta asks, did I catch you by surprise? So much for the master of dodging. As Goku was then shown on one knee having to get back up, he then went on to respond, that was actually quite a heavy strike. I gotta give you that, Vegeta. And you also increased your speed during that last second, too. Smart tactic. I guess my body wanted to see what your new power is capable of, which is why I didn't avoid it. Think you can pull that one off on me again, asks Goku? I know I can, Kakarot. And as soon as Goku then went on to make his move, Vegeta had quickly acted by clenching his fist and saying to himself, there he goes. Wait, no, I can't act so quickly, Vegeta says. I have to feel his movements out first before I strike. Strike. I can sense that he's trying to find an opening. How sneaky of you, Kakarot, says Vegeta. I know what you're trying to do here. I can sense your movements shifting with every twitch, with every blink. You're trying to confuse me and throw me off, are you? And as soon as Goku was then shown having to make his move in throwing a punch only for Vegeta to catch it, he then went on to tell Goku, just like I thought, not so fast. You almost had me for a second there, but I knew what you were trying to do. I know you all too well. But if this is going to be your strategy, says Vegeta, as he then went on to kick Goku in the face, he then continues, then you've already lost. Have you forgotten who you're facing here? If anyone knows you in battle well enough, it's me, fool. Maybe this ought to make you remember of all the times I beat you into the ground and then some. I know you're up to something because your fighting patterns are different than how they usually are. So you're either buying time which you don't have enough of, or you're hoping I'd burn myself out in the process, aren't you? Well, whatever it is that you're planning, it won't work on me, especially not with the power of a destroyer coursing through me. But since you won't tell me, then maybe I'll just have to beat it out of you and force you into submission. And as Goku was shown stumbling on back, he then went on to respond, yeah, there's no doubt about it. Your strikes are much heavier and much sharper than they've ever been. But I'd like to see you try it, and try it Vegeta does, because as soon as Vegeta went on to punch Goku again, as quickly as Vegeta acted, he then went on to tell Goku, you won't be running your mouth at all once I break that jaw of yours, Kakarot. You finally met your me- what? What? Gotcha, Goku says, as Goku went on to quickly move out of the way, and then having to punch Vegeta square in the face, it was only then evidence that Goku was in fact planning something this entire time, in picking and choosing his moments until he had to strike, because the moment in which he had done so, Vegeta went on to stumble on back by holding on to his face and responding, I see what you did. You went ahead and increased your speed during the last second just as I did, didn't you? I should have known better than to fall for your bait, Vegeta says. As Goku went on to ask, surprised Vegeta? I thought you would already know better by now, but I'm far from finished. There's plenty of more where that came from, but you took that shot pretty well. I'm surprised, honestly. So what do you say we kick things up a level or two? Just to add more spice to the battle as we continue, Goku asks. As right when Goku went on to make his next move in attempting to uppercut Vegeta in the stomach, it was only then during that moment where Vegeta had reacted fast enough in grabbing onto Goku's hand by telling him, Oh no you don't, Kakarot. Not this time you won't. Damn you! As if I'll let you get a hit on me again, Vegeta says. Impressive! But since you are a master of knowing what comes next, tell me. Do you think you'll know what my next move will be? Don't even think about it, Vegeta Goku says. Surely you're not that desperate to win. And as soon as Vegeta is shown holding on to Goku by sticking his arm out, he then went on to tell him, you call it being desperate, but I call it being one step ahead and being smart. What's wrong, Kakarot? Worried you can't survive this one? Ask yourself this question, Kakarot. Do I truly have what it takes to end you for good? The answer, of course, is I do. You've seen me almost do it before, but since we are now at our peak when it comes to power, I want to see if you have what it takes to simply survive. 
Vegeta, you wouldn't, Goku says. Yeah? Well, watch me. Ha, Kai. But before Vegeta could follow through, Goku quickly went on to use instant transmission by commenting, Damn it, no! As before Vegeta could even utter the words Hakai, Goku ended up getting right behind him as Vegeta went on to comment, What the? You truly are a magician, aren't you? Vegeta says, as he then proceeded to elbow Goku directly in the face by then telling him, Good thing I'm fast enough to know exactly where you're going to be. What's going on with you, Kakarot? This is much easier than I thought it would be, Vegeta says. Tell me what you are hiding. I I know you're up to something now, what is it? And as Vegeta is then shown backing up and getting ready to kick Goku, he then went on to continue, you are either much weaker than I imagined you would be, or you are simply gauging me to find out more about what this power can do. I will find out one way or another. I've longed for the day where you'd stay behind me and remain there as I grew in power. And as Vegeta is then shown kicking Master to Ultra Instant Goku in the stomach, he then went on to tell him, and that day is today, Kakarot. Can you? you feel that? The balance of power has shifted. It shifted from you to me. Where is this glorious power, Vegeta asks? Is this what the mighty Ultra Instinct is capable of? How pathetic. Ready to admit defeat and give up, or do you need another reminder on why you won't be winning this battle here today, Vegeta asks. As with Goku then shown stumbling on back, he then went on to respond to Vegeta by telling him, Ugh. I gotta admit, you honestly caught me by surprise with that one. I searched your feelings during the last possible second, and I knew you were serious when you were about to use that attack, but even then, you couldn't do it, Goku says. I guess I've been a little too carefree in this battle, Vegeta. This form of yours is a little tricky to overcome, but I'll find a way, Goku says, with Vegeta responding, Is that so? Do you think you'll have enough time on your hands to find a way? With what I remember, you still have problems maintaining this ultra instinct of yours now, do you? Yeah, well, with what I know now, Goku says, that won't be a problem. I'll just have to make sure that I end this quickly if I hope to win this. But what about you, Goku? asks. With what I remember about your form, your body can only take so much before it breaks down like it did against Granola, right? So it's only a matter of time before one of us is bound to burn out first, Vegeta. Think you have what it takes to finish me off in time before your body is shattered, Goku asks? Because I won't let you win, Goku shouts, and the moment Goku went on to attack Ultra Ego Vegeta, Vegeta quickly responded by defending himself from Goku's attack by telling him, no chance, Kakarot, your attacks are sharp, but you'll need to do much better than that, but then, before Vegeta could even finish his sentence, Mastered Ultra Instant Goku proceeded to knee Vegeta in the face by telling him, You're starting to lose focus, Vegeta. With Goku then shown falling back, he then continues, Don't start getting ahead of yourself just yet. Tr you got lucky, Kakarot, Vegeta says. It won't happen again. But then, to Vegeta's surprise, once more, Goku went on to move on in by rapidly kicking Vegeta and telling him, Putting your faith into something you are unsure of is going to be your downfall, especially since I have plenty of fight left. As even Vegeta himself could not believe the amount of effort that Goku was then beginning to put in as Vegeta went on to ask how was he able to move like that? I couldn't track him. This is it, Vegeta, Goku shouts. It's over. And with MUI Goku then shown charging up for a massive Kamehameha, Goku wasn't willing to leave anything behind, so instead, he ends up firing a point-blank Kamehameha to Vegeta's face, with Vegeta shown quickly scrambling to maintain his balance as he then went on to comment, No, I won't let this be my legacy, Kakarot. I will not lose to you, Vegeta shouts. And with Goku then shown putting in tremendous amounts of effort into making sure that this Kamehameha was enough to actually put Vegeta down definitively, the moment we then get to see Vegeta in a defensive position and taking the Kamehameha directly head on, there was a massive explosion seen in the distance as Goku then went on to say to himself, that's it. It connected. Unless his body is a lot more durable than I imagined it would be, there is no way that he should be standing. Man, Vegeta, this power of yours, you are so much better than you've ever been. To see you withstand my attacks the way you did is certainly not an easy feat. You've often pushed yourself even harder than I have to achieve the power that you desired, and I still need to get better adjusted to this power, but even then, you put up a great fight against me, Vegeta. But it was only then as the smoke began to settle where Goku was shown reverting back down to his base form and commenting, Oh no, my body, I can't hold on to it anymore. Wait. It can't be, Goku says. Vegeta. As to Goku's surprise, through the smoke we then see how a bloody mouth Vegeta is then shown smiling as Vegeta went on to respond, I have to admit, you almost had me, Kakarot. You almost beat me. 
but almost isn't going to cut it. Not this time, not against what I am now. Look at what we have here, Vegeta says. Just as I thought would happen, you burned right through your Ultra Instinct with that stunt of yours. I knew one of us was going to cave first, and it wasn't going to be me. As the second Vegeta was then shown increasing his power even more, he then continues, The tables have turned, Kakarot, and now I am the one who is in control of our fate. And as Vegeta is then shown slowly approaching Goku, he then went on to tell him, This power was designed for enduring punishment, but I wouldn't expect for you to understand, because your power was designed to avoid danger. Not embrace it, Vegeta says. And as such, I've trained my body to endure the greatest amounts of punishment that I could. And it worked. And now that you see this for yourself, you can now understand the difference between us. Your power, the power of Ultra Instinct, is a power that is far beyond my grasp. A level that is beyond my desire to achieve. But instead, I have found another. And as such, I will not let this power break me down the way Ultra Instinct breaks yours. I can still go, Vegeta says. But can you, Kakarot? As Goku even then was not willing to back down, as Goku went on to transform into a Super Saiyan 2 by responding, I won't quit now! Even if my body breaks down on me, I won't back down without putting up a fight. Then by all means, Kakarot, do your absolute worst. To where Goku did not waste any more time in having to strike Vegeta by punching him in the face, but even then, to Goku's horror, he knew that this was going to have absolutely no effect on him as Goku went on to ask, but how? You didn't even move, Vegeta. What are you? I am what I was always meant to be, Vegeta says. Great, Kakarot. Better than you. Did you honestly think using Super Saiyan 2 would change anything between us? Now let's settle the score between us once and for all, wouldn't you say? To where as soon as Vegeta was then shown having to grab onto Goku's wrist and neck and squeezing him, that's when Vegeta went on to tell Goku, For years I was forced to watch you overtake me. This power that Lord Beerus has taught me will not go without its greatest reward. Victory over you, Kakarot. Without your Ultra Instinct, you cannot possibly do anything to close the gap between us. You've pushed yourself into becoming the greatest that you can possibly be, and now I have done the same. I long for the day where we fight again, Vegeta says. Maybe next time you'll keep your Ultra Instinct a little longer during our battle. I actually enjoyed fighting you at your best. It gave me something to strive for. Which is victory, Vegeta says. Now sleep, Kakarot. This fight is over. As Vegeta was then shown squeezing Goku by the throat to the point where Goku was losing consciousness, as soon as Goku was then shown fading away into Vegeta's hands, Vegeta then went on to tell him, I imagine that you believe that you were going to beat me. And honestly, you almost did. But because you still lack the proper control over Ultra Instinct, you could never finish the mission without burning through that power. We will fight again, Kakarot, and just as it is now, you will lose again when it happens. You know I can't kill you, Vegeta says. How else would I be able to push myself without a rival to meet those standards of practice? There is still much more to this Ultra Instinct than meets the eye, and I'm going to wait until you've mastered every aspect of it to beat you within it again. It's over, Vegeta says, with Vegeta then shown throwing Goku's body on the ground, he then continues, There is much more for me to learn as well, that has made very clear here today. And as such, I will grow beyond this the next time we battle. You were foolish to believe that your form has no weaknesses, even when all along its greatest weakness was the will to hold it through until the end. Who knows what's out there for me to discover and achieve, Vegeta says. Perhaps warriors who are even far stronger than us. And with Vegeta then shown powering back down to his base form, he then went on to conclude his speech by continuing, Nevertheless, I will not settle here. I will not settle for anything less than perfect perfection, to be the very best that I can be, and to be the most powerful Saiyan to ever live. That is my purpose, and that's who I will become. You have earned my respect, Kakarot, Vegeta says, don't you ever forget it. And with Vegeta then shown turning around, as he was shown walking away, he then went on to respond, when you wake up, we will go to Beerus's world and we will continue our training with the gods. Our quest will continue to burn on 
always, as it was only then during that moment where the Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of Mastered Ultra Instant Goku vs Ultra Ego Vegeta manga chapter special then comes to a close. Now what I really wanted to encompass with this story was introducing the hypothetical idea and not only seeing what it would be like to witness Mastered Ultra Instant Goku vs Ultra Ego Vegeta, but with one of them having more so of a problem in maintaining their power than the other, I more or less went along to borrow the elements of what it would be like for Goku to continuously lose Ultra Instinct as he's been doing throughout the course of Dragon Ball Super, and for Vegeta to stand victorious over Goku, this is what I want to know from you guys in the comment section below, and that's between both MUI and UE, if there was such a hypothetical concept as seeing Ultra Ego versus Ultra Instinct, then let me know in the comment section below as to who you think would win and why, as this will be a divisive conversation for many, as many do believe that Ultra Ego Vegeta is without question stronger than Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku, while others believe that Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku is far beyond anything Ultra Ego Vegeta could be and then some, so in the comment section below, are you guys for Team MUI or are you guys for Team Ultra Ego Vegeta? Thank you all so much for watching, thank you all so much for your time, and let me know in the comment section below if we should either recreate this story in a different way or perhaps maybe even continue it, because the more support we end up getting, the better it is that we get to find out which direction to go in, so again, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, then be sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if you guys enjoyed. Also, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new, as well as tuning back in for more because there is so much more where that came from. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys for your time. Tune back in for more, and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you down in the comment section below and in the next video. Take it easy, guys, and have a great day. Peace. This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course, I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unrelent Gaming. Also, follow Unrelent Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, then very soon you will all be dead. <laughs> oh, did someone say Unrelent Gaming? Oh my god. The fuck, Zabon? Put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs> Get over here! Tell these mortals that I'm the biggest Unreal Ed Gaming fan! This is my moment! I'm a part of his notification squad! Universe 7 can have all the fun! I just want the food! And don't forget to leave a comment on this video! Show some love for the best community on YouTube! <laughs> K -k 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 <laughs>